Hi everyone, I'm Liz. So a few days ago we did have a little drive-by shower, so I wanted to share with you guys everything I got. I feel so spoiled. I feel like we got so much for keeping it like low-key. The drive-by, we invited almost everyone that we normally would, but obviously some people couldn't travel for it. I did not expect people to. People came later, people didn't come on time, but it was fine. It was a really fun day. We got to be outside, enjoy the weather, even with masks on. I cannot believe how much stuff we got. I tried to keep my registry like minimal. There were some things that I didn't think that I needed to add, like wipe warmers or bottle warmers. I kind of wanted to keep like those things that I might not need off of it, but I still got so many things and I want to share with you guys some ideas for your registry or anything that you might need, anything that you're missing. Or honestly, these are just fun to watch and I love watching them. So I'm going to sit on the floor show you guys everything. I'll give you guys a little roundabout first to show you because it is a mess in here. It's all spread out on the floor and then I am so excited to organize it because we just took everything and kind of threw it in here after opening it. So this is just an overview of everything. It is so so messy in here right now. I have some goodies over here, some clothes. Everything's kind of spread out on the floor. This way I can put everything away and get it all clean, but I'm gonna sit on the floor and show you guys. So I am having a girl, as you can tell by a lot of the pink around here. My mother did get me so many baby clothes. I'm gonna share those at the end because I know not everyone's having a girl and everyone might not be interested in looking at girl clothes, although I love watching any boy or girl clothes because I think they're adorable and anything like gender neutral I'll show throughout. So I'll leave a little timestamp when that will be this way if you guys want to see that too. So I did register at Babylist. I'll leave my registry down below if you guys need ideas or anything you want to see. I had a little bit over 100 items on it and at first I only had like 80 and the people were telling me like you did not have enough so I had to go through it and add more. And I will say there's about 80 items that were bought now so definitely add a lot and you can always get it later and I also like the registry because it sees what I need like anything that's not bought I know I need that most everything here was for my registry everyone pretty much stayed on it I didn't care if they went off of it it's fine it's I don't know what I'm doing the first time around so if people thought things were better that was fine with me too baby list you can get from a variety of websites that's why I picked it because people could shop from Amazon buy by baby Target, anywhere where that item was available. This way they didn't have to stick to something because I wasn't a huge Amazon shopper until recently and I didn't want people to just have to get from Amazon if they couldn't. And at the time also the stores were open so this way people could go in and get something. Obviously now they really weren't so everything was pretty much bought online. There were a couple cons for me for Baby List but overall I did like it. If you guys have any questions or you want to know what I didn't like about it, let me know and I'll just put it in the comments down below. So let's get into this. So first thing that a few of my friends got me was a couple of bath needs. This was on my registry. This is from Munchkin. This kind of just like suctions to your shower or your bathtub. And I like it because it holds all the toys and you can kind of just scoop it up in the bath. It holds everything. Everything's all organized because definitely toys get everywhere. And I like that it's got the net to dry it out. And even if your babies are still little and not using toys yet, I can use this to store all their shower goodies in there too. I don't believe this was on my registry, but I love this already. This is from So Cozy. I don't know where you can get this. If anyone knows, let me know. If I find out, I'll let you guys know. So this does have like a little silicone rubber on it, which I've heard is great for Cradle Cat. I've seen like Freedom Moms and other brands sell that separately, but they're like five, six dollars, which is kind of excessive. So honestly, I might just keep this and screw it off and use it for that. And it's so nice and relaxing feeling. I'm actually going to show you guys this so I can put everything in it. This is the bathtub that we picked. This is from Boone. I just liked it because I felt like they can grow with it and I believe this kind of moves around and also I believe this changes color. I've read that somewhere that it changes color if the water's too hot. I'm not sure. It doesn't say anywhere on it. If you guys know that, let me know. But I just like the size of it and that you can kind of bathe them in it and kind of drain it out that way. It does pop up so this way you can let the water go through there if you were just letting it all go through. And this is kind of like soft so this way they can lay their head on it and I figure they could just sit up in it and they can lay down in it. I don't know why but Hello Bello is so aesthetically pleasing to me so I put a couple things in my registry that some people got is a little bubble bath and this is in a lavender scent. Also a baby lotion and then this one is a shampoo and body wash in a lavender apricot which I've heard smells amazing. And I just like the idea of this brand for some reason like I said it just aesthetically pleases me. I like that everything seems a little bit more natural. You can find these at Walmart so they are pretty affordable. I'm so stocked on lotions and body washes, it's insane, but this one is from Burst Beads. Just because I know some babies have different reactions to different ones, or they like ones more than others, or their body can handle, so I wanted to have a option of variety, this way I can see what they like. And if they don't like it, I can always use it on myself, which is nice. And also this little whale pitcher from Skip Hop that you just pour the water on them, and I didn't realize, so you could fill this with water, and I saw there was a headband at Bye Bye Baby today, and I think that's what this is for, is that it kind of just suctions 
and you pour it like that this way it rinses all the water off and doesn't get in their eye I don't know if that's what it's for but it actually does work very well so little tip for that I did add a portable sound machine this is from project nursery I like this because I can put this when I go out I can use this in the car I know everyone loves the hatch but that was $60 and I just couldn't justify it so I like that this one is kind of like three in one I can travel with it like I said this is supposed to glow in the dark but it says that it glows in the dark after you put it in sunlight so it's really pointless it does have a few sounds and it does have a couple songs you can put it on timer so I thought that's nice that I could just hang this on the crib outside like that and put the sound on if I need and like I said I can go out with it so this I already really, really like, and I can tell that this is going to be great. So this all was not on my registry, but I want to share it because I think it is absolutely amazing. My mother-in-law made this whole postpartum basket for me, and I think this is the cutest thing, especially if you have, like, a best friend, someone that you're close with, someone that you don't mind getting personal with. This is such a nice basket to make for them. And it there is a ton of these long ice packs in this way. If you're sore or anything, or if you don't even use it for that, you can use it for a lot of other things. You can use it for the baby, but they're long, so they're supposed to sit in the underwear super cute but also diapers I did buy a pack of these myself and apparently these are just more attractive and if you're gonna wear them at least you don't have to feel like you're wearing diapers but I did take a couple out already and they are very soft I can tell they're gonna be comfortable she also got me disposable nursing pads a huge pack which I have so many of these it's ridiculous this I already packed in my hospital bag I wasn't gonna get it because it's like $16 for a like water bottle which seemed excessive when you get it for free at the hospital but I could tell it's definitely helpful People rave about this. I'm sure you've heard about it, but it was really nice to have someone get that for me. And in here, she also put Tylenol for me, which is so helpful because I know you can only take Tylenol and Advil or something like that. So that's why I'm stocked up on that. Colace, because also I've heard you need to take Colace. Just take it like a week or two before you do. This way you're ready. I'm raring to go. I'm sorry, my hair keeps falling in my face. She also put some nipple cream in here from Mother Love. This already, I could tell, is very oily, so it'll feel nice on the skin if you are dried out. This one is from Mother Love. I've heard a couple of good things about other brands, but this one smells really nice. It's nice to have, and apparently you need it. And then these pad liners, which I think are pretty much like if you make pads cold, but they're cooling or they're like long tucks instead. And I read, um, put it in the fridge this way they stay cool. And then on top of that, there is a witch hazel foam, which is nice. I think you could just put it on, which it'll keep it less messy, easier than making those pads cold. And what's really nice about these, they have like a step-by-step -step in the back, like what you should do first, which is really kind of nice to look at and be like, okay, this is what I have to do. This way you're ready. Cause sometimes you're like, when do I do this? When do I do that? So that's all there. And the last thing she got me was this herbal spray from Earth Mama. And actually, I've heard really good things about also the nipple cream from Earth Mama. But I've heard amazing things about this that you just spray it and it's very cooling and it's supposed to help you feel a little bit more relaxed after everything hurts back there. So that is it that my mother-in-law got me. My friend did get me a huge pack of maxi pads because apparently you need this. So this is actually really nice to have. She's my best friend. So same thing. Not embarrassed to get that, I'm sure. My husband's uncle got us this, and this is the cutest thing. We love it. It is like a little memory box, and each has a little, like, box in it that you could stick little treasures in. One is for my first pacifier, my first curl when you cut their hair, two shoes, little keepsakes. So I like these little things that these are just nice to have as a little keepsake. And I think it's just very clean in there instead of, like, you know, throwing everything in a box. Everything's organized. It shows it. I have no idea where they got this, but I think this is the sweetest gift if anyone is into that because I do love keeping things like this but also at the same time like I said it's kind of gross at the same time to keep your first tooth and hair but at least if it's in here it's pretty and nice and neat so my mother-in-law was sending us things up until the shower too just sending to her house so we had it so she did get us this crib sheet she did buy us a two pack of crib sheet and another crib sheet one is from Target two are from Amazon I believe this one is from Target and this one and this one were from Amazon I just figured it's good to have a bunch in case there is a spill in the night or any accidents and you could just change them I've heard even you can layer them this way you put the waterproof in between and then you just take it off bundle it up this way you don't have to worry about changing it I don't know if we'll do that but yeah. But these were on my registry if anyone is interested in them, it'll be on there. So my best friend did also get me some postpartum meads for myself. This is more disposable pads and then another nipple cream so I am stocked up on those. It's insane. To my registry I did add this. This, this is the Ingenuity. I cannot say that right but it is a baby base. I like this because it reminded me of the Bumbo where they can sit up in the living room when they're learning to sit up but I can also use this for them to eat. It is a hideaway tray so it's kind of like a two-in-one. You can use this as a grow. You can use this when they're little, when they're sitting up on their own. It does have a high back, so this way, if they are littler, they will be more comfortable. And I just felt like this was more cleaner 
we don't have a huge kitchen so this is more space saving so if you need something like that I was very interested in this I think you can use it when they're infants which is great like I said you can use it in the living room so it's kind of everything in one and they were pretty affordable for this and they have all different colors I love the color options but I did just get like a beige to keep it clean and neat for our diaper pail we did go with the decor I know everyone loves a ubi which is stainless steel so it's supposed to keep the scent in but I just couldn't stand touching it I'd rather just use my foot and kind of stick it in instead of opening and closing things I just was not into that so I will show that after and show you the size because it's very small I like it also because I read online you can also use regular garbage bags like the ubi and then we did get some extra bags with it which apparently hold Hold almost a thousand diapers so we will see but I like the size of it it's very small it's compact for the diaper bag on my registry I put the Miss Fong this you can find on Amazon I just like the color of this one they have a lot of different pretty colors but on their website they don't have as many like if you go on their Instagram they have so many beautiful colors that I could not find online they had like a denim blue that was not on there and they had a light sky blue in this material and this and this one is kind of like that suede material it is pretty large I believe this is a knockoff of the fawn design bags which also have beautiful colors but it is about a hundred dollars more so I figured I'd get this and I actually got a little purse diaper bag and I figured it is basically the same price as the fawn design and they're gonna get dirty and gross anyway so why spend 150 on it but it is huge it holds a lot but if you guys want a separate review on this and just me to show it off let me know and I can do that the other diaper bag that I got is a purse it is from Shea Mitchell's brand so I cannot pronounce that but it was on sale for a hundred so like I said I figured you're kind of spending the same for those two versus this and then I have two different designs but I do really like this one so I've heard you absolutely need a boppy I have used these at my friend's house and they are so much easier to hold a baby with so absolutely I needed one for myself and I love the designs that they've come out with this one is just so pretty and simple I didn't get any covers for it but this one does come off to wash we also got the boppy lounger this one the baby can sit up in I believe the other one you can sit up too but I just like this one because I figured if we're traveling it's got the case we can take this with us it's a little bit more like I said for her to sit up in it's got the cushioning underneath versus this one's I feel like is more for breastfeeding or holding them this one we got it in the animal print design they don't have as many designs in this one I've noticed and this one does not come off to wash and I don't believe they make covers so heads up on that but this one is so soft and I can already tell I love it this was gifted to us not from our registry but it is just a little tummy time from VTech they lay on their belly they play they could sit up with it which is really cute it wraps around their belly so I like that too if they fall it's kind of something to protect them this one just has like a piano and everything and it's very cute also got a bunch of bows these are all from amazon i love the color this was a pack it is on the registry if you were interested and they are so soft they are like stocking material so i can tell these are going to be great and i believe it was like ten dollars for all these and i like the colors i did get a couple baby carriers this one was highly recommended for an affordable price on target and amazon so it was nice that you can wear them both ways you can wear them on your back you can wear them front that's what I liked about it, that it was all different ways. They can face you, they can face away. And I like the color of it where my husband can wear it or I can't. They say it's a four in one. It reminds me of the more expensive ones. But like I said, it had great reviews for about half quarter of the price. And then another baby carrier I got was this one from Baby Content. I have to return it because this is an extra, extra small and I'm not an extra, extra small. But I like this one because you can wear it as a sling if you wanted to. I like the option of different because I like the sling idea. But I'm not good with the whole wrapping. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that versus this one is just x in the back. So it's kind of you slip it on. It's a lot easier. Definitely less complicated and I think less time consuming. I did add this cute little robe that is giraffe print. I just love this. It's so soft but we shall move on. It's cute for both genders. I love it. I also got one of the car seat covers. This one does look like you can use it to breastfeed too but you can't see like the baby as well versus the copper pearl is a little bit more stretchy so this one I probably would just use for the car seat but it is a beautiful print and this one is from Amazon so got this little guy I got a tutu <laughs> this is so cute this is first of all 12 months which I feel like it's so tiny but it is her first bathing suit for next year but this way we have it it is adorable it's mini it's so cute a bunch more bows these are from Amazon I feel like these are very 70s which is very cute and they are very soft also a chicka chicka boom boom book which i feel like this is a classic that you need so i'm so excited that we have this some baby wipes which are nice to have a couple options worth and then i will buy more but that is good for now i did get two of these these little milestone blankets and my god these are so soft i will link down below like who makes these because these were not on my registry but they are so pretty and like i would just use this as a blanket so it was very cute it came with a headband and a little ring to put around it and then it did come with a little picture frame that you could put down by the days week months or year which is very nice and it's just cute this one 
and the other one I got like I said is so beautiful too it's got roses on it I don't know if I need both but definitely I love both and like I said you could just use it as a blanket because it's so soft I didn't know if we needed these but I did add one set of preemie pajamas just in case they're good to have because you never know these are from Target they're gender neutral they are so cute they just have little llamas and I love you print but these are also velcro which I think is so helpful I've heard people love the Wubba Dub, so I did add the Little Llama. It was so cute. This was from Spearmint Baby. I've only seen this one on Spearmint Baby, but I just love it. And it's so tiny. It's a lot smaller than the other ones, which I like that. And this was not on my registry, but I'm so happy I got it because it is so soft and pretty. This is also from Spearmint Love. I said Spearmint Baby, but I believe they're... If you Google it, it'll be the same thing, but it's technically Spearmint Love. But it is just this beautiful onesie. I know I've said I was showing the clothes at the end, but this one is right there so I figured I'd show it because I do have it in other prints and it's so soft like I said the material is amazing tons of diapers we did put a optional diaper raffle in we figured if people want to bring a diaper they can and then we will mail them out a gift whoever wins so it was nice a few people participated so I figured even if two people do it is diapers for me more wipes from Hello Bello this is the other milestone blanket you can see the print it is so pretty for the swaddle I've heard really good things about this nested bean it is heavy on the chest but apparently it's supposed to feel like your hand on them so I've heard good things. I've heard some babies like them. We shall see. But I thought it was nice to have a variety of swaddles. This way they can pick and choose what they like. These amazing baby swaddles. We did get one of these in that free Amazon gift registry bag. And I really like the feel of it. So I wanted to add a couple more. And also with this, they did give us a little discount code that you got in it. So it was 50% off, which was amazing. I did put it on the registry if anyone noticed to use it. But I will leave it down below if you guys are interested. Because they were, I think, only $15 for three of them with that discount some cute little bass toys some socks i absolutely adore copper pearl so these prints were so cute these little llamas and just this aztec print but this was a nice little set of burp cloths these are nice to have apparently you need a lot of these so good to have like i said this brush set from green sprouts is just so soft and it is a baby brush and comb i think they're helpful to have even if they don't have a lot of hair it just feels nice on their head it kind of gets that blood flowing and also like i said they've cradle cap i think it's good for that so i definitely recommend this my mother-in-law did get us some changing pads for the pack and play, which I didn't think of, so definitely good to have if you don't think about that, so there's that. For our nightlight, instead of, like I said, the nest, we decided to go with this. So I like this nightlight because they can move around with it, they can lay next to it, it doesn't have to be plugged in, and I believe it just charges right on the charging pad, which is nice, and then you just put it in the bed. And between this and the song, it was still cheaper than the hatch, and like I said, I can travel with this, I can give this to people to use, which is a little bit easier, so I like that I can sleep with it, or she can, it doesn't have to be plugged in at all times. I did add only one bottle, because we got so many bottles in those free registry bags, so I added the Como Tomo, because I've heard really good things about this, and if I need any others, I will get them, but this way I have like six to try out right now. I am not excited about this, but I've heard you need it, is the nose Frida, so it just sucks out their boogies, it doesn't get in your mouth. But apparently it is a lifesaver, so recommend it if you need it. Someone just got us this cute little blanket with a little elephant on it. I accidentally just hit it, but it's just a little Einstein's song, take along music thing. So we have to wait for that to stop now. Like I said, tons of body wash and shampoo. So this one is from Honest. And then we also got some Johnson's and Johnson's. It just says Johnson's. I thought it was always Johnson and Johnson's, but... I think it is. Just a bunch of lotions, body washes, and skin lotions. My mother-in-law got us tons of books. So we have my first Winnie the Pooh, we have Spot, we have this, and she got a Grandma Loves Me, which is so like her, which is so funny. So definitely a little collection, which is really nice to have. And also some of the ones that they can chew on. I know it's not really for them to chew on, but they can at least instead of a book, which is gross. We did purchase ourselves the Four Moms Mamaroo. We got it off Facebook, and that sells for over $200. We spent $60 on it, basically brand new, but we did need an infant insert, so we added that. But I'm telling you, if big things like that, check on Facebook because, like I said, it was basically new because a lot of babies don't like those things that the mom probably used it for a couple weeks, baby hated it, and then they sold it. So we got a great deal on it. So definitely for big ticket items, if you don't mind secondhand, check out Facebook Marketplace because that was a great find. And because we added that, we were able to add more little items like this and get more things. My mother-in-law got these little teasers. I have no idea where she got them. Probably Amazon. They are so cute, so I'll leave it there for a second. This way you guys can see the name of it if you like it, which I think, like I said, they are just so cute. We did add this. I know everyone does the grass, but the grass just kind of grossed me out. I felt like cleaning it was going to be hard, so I did this one because it seemed a little bit more space-saving. And it just dries the bottles and everything else. A bottle cleaner, which you definitely need. And then just a munchkin rack to keep everything together in the dishwasher. And I do have to just show these. She made these. How freaking cute are these? And there's so many. I have like 
10 more that she made us. It's insane. These are burp cloths and just the shape of it is perfect so I don't need too many burp cloths now because like I said she made us like a dozen. All right, we are on to the last bag of things. So my mom did just get me my first bear. This is probably from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but they have the best things there. Some washcloths. This is probably also from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, and it's from Little Treasures. If you can find this brand, these are like silk. They are so soft, so I highly recommend if you see these anywhere. We also got one of these that can just go in the pack and play for her to look at and see, and they rattle, and she can chew on it. So something like that is very cute to have. Some washcloths. These are from Cloud Island, which you can get at Target, and they're just a cute print, and they're good to have and I've heard you need a lot of burp cloth and a lot of washcloth so good to have. A waterproof mattress cover which is definitely needed so this will go underneath the crib sheets so helpful. Alright we are down to the last so we got some flannel blankets these are from Gerber so soft and then also some pack and play sheets which I did not add these but same thing very helpful to have especially if they're gonna sleep in it so for cleaning that is great. Some more headbands which are really cute. Oh my gosh. I can't believe how much we got. My mom, like I said, went insane to unclose. She got more headbands. She got some socks. So it's good because we needed socks. She also got this beautiful blanket. This is from TJ Maxx, she said, and I love this because it goes with the theme. This one's very girly, so it doesn't really go with everything, but it's just a nice cozy blanket, which is good for winter for her or for the for the stroller or for the car. So this is the diaper pail, and I just got it because, like I said, it is small. It looks pretty big there, but I like it because it pops in like that, so it does do that, and you can lock it so that nobody gets in it. And then I also forgot to show this blooming bath. I thought this was so cute and I figured you can even kneel on it on the floor if you need to. And I just really like it for the sink. All right, so there's so much clothes. It is unbelievable. So I'm just gonna go through it quick because I can tell this video is going to be so long. So my sister-in-law just got from Amazon this little, I can't walk, I'm a mermaid, which came with these little mermaid pants. So if you were into that, it's very cute on Amazon. I like the pants, they're adorable, and it did come with a matching headband. It's ripped jeans also from Amazon. I believe they are so cute. <laughs> I just, you know, yeah. Some strawberry onesies. So these are great. These are in six to nine months. So my mom got me some bigger sizes, which is great because I bought so many three months clothes that I was going to be way too stocked on that. This little BB outfit with matching pants and it also comes with a headband. This was from someone else, but this is just a little strawberry set from Carter's. I do love Carter's clothes. I think they're very cute. This little set of onesies also. Like I said, we have so many onesies. It's insane. I have to wash everything. My friend got me a 12 month 4th of July outfit. So this will be good for next year, which is so cute. Little rompers. I love the rompers. The Juicy Couture onesies. And my mom said that she found these at Burlington. And I'm sure they were probably like $7.99 knowing Burlington. So definitely check out Burlington for baby clothes too, because they have very cute stuff at Burlington. I always buy baby clothes at Burlington. This little watch me grow outfit. Nicole Miller I saw today at Bye Bye Baby. I believe this is probably from TJ Maxx or Marshalls but these are really cute too. She has really cute clothes. So there's that with a matching bib. Then there's one more brand that like literally has my favorite clothes but just this gorgeous little sleeper. This little sleeper too that has a little ruffle butt. Which I've heard you don't want the buttons because they'll drive you nuts at night but my mom got them so you know take what you can get. I got three sets of these, so I might just have to, you know, use them as she grows. I have a newborn, a zero to three, and this six to nine. But these are from Target, and these are so cute and soft, and they are zippers, so highly recommend the Target ones in that. Some more onesies. Yep, and like I said, this brand I saw today at Bye Bye Baby, so they're probably around the same price, but they are so affordable at Burlington, so definitely check there out once they open again. Another little sleeper. This sleeper is so cute too. It just has like the little stretchy pants and this one's first one she's bigger. Yep. All right. All right. So those are all like the sleepers and everything. And then these are like the daytime clothes. So this is from Amazon. Those came with those ripped jeans. This was so cute. If you guys know the sizes in Amazon, let me know. Cause I know like the Chinese sizes say like 80, 60 and 70. It's a little romper with a narwhal. That what they're called, right? They're so cute. So I love this one. This little dress from Carter's. So this is from Amazon and I just noticed there's more buttons there so this way they can grow with it which is really cute. This way you can make it bigger or smaller and this is just a little mermaid kind of outfit. It is not a bathing suit although it looks like it and I just think it's so cute the little knockoff of the little mermaid. She's legit looking but flounder is so sketchy and I love it. <laughs> this is from Bon BB. This is so cute just a little kind of 
onesie but has it where it looks like a dress where is she wearing this i don't know but my mom felt like she needed it so we have this little dress this is the brand that i'm literally obsessed with is this laura ashley their outfits just are very like vintage looking like victorian i think they're so cute and this she said she got from tj maxx and then this last little dress and then we also got a pack and play where she will either sleep at night or we'll use it just in the living room or between using the bassinet that came with the upper baby or the pack and play for her to sleep in so we'll see if you guys have recommendations on which were better for you let me know we did go with the upper baby stroller we did purchase it ourselves because i did get it on amazon for a little bit more of an affordable price and then my mom purchased the matching car seat to that so we have the mesa i really really like it it's not super heavy there's definitely more lightweight ones but if you don't mind it just clicks right in which i really like that and that is it it is so much like i said i am so grateful i cannot believe we got all this and even just going through it again like I feel like it doubled in size. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you guys some ideas. I hope it wasn't too long. If you guys made it through the whole thing, let me know. And I hope I see you guys next time. Good luck with everything. And if you are having a shower soon, enjoy it. Bye.